Okay, so this is probably the most janky thing you've seen on this channel in a while, and I'm hoping that some of you engineers out there are gonna cringe at what I did. Check this out. So this all started last night. I want to POTA today, but I wanna spend a bit of time out there. I wanna make some context. I'm not gonna film a video or nothing, but I wanna bring my ASU FTX 1F. The problem is I didn't buy the Optima because I really don't want it, but I wanna run some more power today. So I've got this MXP50 amp, and I'm sitting here like, how do I get this to work? I got the key, the keying circuit thing for this amp had a little uh, 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 TRS plug on it for my ICOM 705. So I'm taking a look at the schematic for the manual. We've got transmit ground here, we've got ground here, and then we've got external ALC here. But I do not have a 10 pin, whatever this thing is called, DIN or mini DIN, whatever. You can go online and buy one for like 30 bucks. Nay, nay, that's not the ham way. So this wire right here is like the keying wire and then you've got your power wire on the uh, amplifier, okay? So I basically just need to connect the ground and that ALC circuit to here, but how do you do that without a DIN connector? With power poles, ha <laughs> ha. And I color coded them so you guys in the comments wouldn't freak out that this was red. Only, only did it for you. So here's where it gets janky, okay? So this part, connects to this guy somehow, like such, okay? And then, now here's, here's the interesting thing. The top middle should be the transmit ground and what I'll call the bottom middle should be the EXT ALC. Now, just by happenstance, because we're hams and we like to experiment, the first time I plugged this in, I plugged the red cable into what should be the transmit ground, and I plugged the black wire into what should be the ALC. And would you believe that it actually works? So right now the amplifier is in the off position. It is powered on, but that just means the amplifier circuit is turned off. I've got five watts going out. Okay, on CW, five watts there. We're gonna call that five because it's MFJ and who knows the actual accuracy of that, okay? Make sure this knob is on 80. Now let's turn the power amp on. Watch this red light and watch the power. Five watts going in, 35 watts going out. Hot dog, let's go to 40. Never mind my high noise floor, five watts going in, 38 watts going out. Uh, let's just do 20. Turn this over to there. CW, 35 watts. Hot dog. I love it. Now let's just do one more just to, just to illustrate the point. 15 meters. 35 watts with 5 watts in. Now it's still too early to tell, but recent studies and tests have shown that I might not be stupid after all. The interesting thing is why is the red connected to the transmit ground and the external ALC is connected to, nope, I am stupid, whatever. It's backwards. Why is it working? I don't know. I'm gonna go out and do some POTA now and uh, we'll see if it works. But that's the, that's the story for today. We got a 50 watt amp, 50 watts, working with the FTX 1F. Uh, as janky as possible. My name is Mike Cade. I'm Artie. Thanks for watching. 73.